Hello to all handball fans, I guess especially in Denmark right now, because we are about to witness the MB men's category final on the Prague Handball Cup 2019, and it is going to be just all Danish affair. Two teams from Denmark, the country of the reigning world champions will face off against each other fifth handball against H I K I K F U M sorry I really don't know what it stands for but I'll just call them H I K against F I F just two great tennis teams that's for sure H I K have won the all Danish semi final against Rudersdal 15 to 9. Fifth handball has beaten Croatian team Dubrava 19 14. And they will start with the ball at the beginning of the first half of this final. Lots of Danish players from another teams in the arena. So this final should have almost like home-like atmosphere. And the yellow card for number five, Toning Wilfred, for the first foul of the game. Hit with number 20, Einar Nicholson on the center back. And this was the first shot attempt blocked by the HIK defense. One, two, three defense from uh, fifth handball. Oh, what a cooperation in the air, but was denied by the referees because there was a step in the goal area. Unfortunately for all of us, because what a way to open the finals, right? Number 11 showing some toughness on the way to the goal. It was Lasse Sørensen who was fouled by the defense. And received the second yellow card. Another shot with a contact and it is the first penalty, two minute penalty for HIK. Julius Rasmussen is the one who got ejected for two minutes. To the first power play. There's a lot of space on the right wing, but not a really good decision by Elasio Sørensen right now, who created a contact with the defense and caused a foul. Okay, with uh, without a goalie, and will they be punished? Oh, that was a heck of a shot by number eight, Fabian Dau. So the first goal of these finals was an exceptional shot from the left back. And also the first goal in the power play for fifth handball. Will 
will the team in white jersey respond from the right back by number five Tanning Wilfred but shot didn't go between the posts and now a nice shot from the left wing over the fingers of Ludwig Stagge so the guys in blue jerseys showing some great shooting technique as one would expect from the Danish players of course and again we'll see their one two three defense getting ready for their opponents and it's causing some trouble but now good shot by the even a better save by Matthias Bagbak. That's a turnover right there, right in the hands of Frederik Hedegaard, who scored the first goal for his team, HIK. But quick response from a fifth handball. But the, uh, it was an offensive foul. This is going to be two minute suspension for Mats Briggs. Great block. Einar Nicholson was the one who stood in the way of the shot. The center back of FIF handballed. And again, chance goes to the left wing, but Ludwig Stagge didn't score his second goal of the game. HIK now with the chance to even up the score. They were close, but. Uh, few I guess few centimeters denied them the scoring and we see a lot of crossing routes from uh, fifth players Little miscommunication, but Nicholson now with a uh, acrobatic shot was fouled seven meters and even a two minute suspension for Julius Rasmussen, his second penalty in the game, which is not a good sign for the team in white jerseys. Mats Ferk uh, with the direct throw and it's three to one for fifth handball. FIF handball. A 
This is going to be a seven meter throw. Lots of physical players face each other on the floor. And as the result of their dynamics and quickness are fouls, as we have seen in the first eight minutes. And saved by number 77, Matthias Buck Buck. Important save from the seven meters. So the score hasn't changed. Three to one for FIF. And the goal number four. And the second in this game for Fabian Gau. Nicholson, and that can be an easy score, and it is. The goalie got back, but wasn't able to prevent Ludwig Stager from scoring from a fast break. So, 5-1, to one. two goals in a row for FIF, and they now have a comfortable lead the, during the first half of this final. There was space for a uh, right wing also, but Oliver Överup decided to go all the way and his decision was right. 5-2. Nicholson. And that was another great shot. Fabian Dow is the best scorer of his team. So far in his game, he scored half of the goals of FIF. Just a great execution by the guys in the blue jerseys. So their defense is causing a lot of trouble. And I see that was quick. That was a hell of a play by Laus Hjort, who read the defensive stance and was able to be so quick that he ran between the defenders, was fouled at the end of his journey. <laughs> and now it's seven meter throw. Made by Tanning Wilfred. Or Wilfred Tanning, as one would correctly say. 6 3. And that ball was out of bounds. It wasn't a bad attempt for a pass. It just wasn't 100%. And now again, quick strike by Laus here. Second goal. In a few moments and the goal difference is just two, but now there was some space to sneak through for Jonas Weyrup and he just did it. Brilliantly, so 7-4. It is rather a patient game, but we've seen some really amazing flashes of handball brilliance from these Danish players on both sides. Traveling, a chance for Ludwig Stage. Oh, and he hit the post. It 
looked like players of HIK are getting closer to the six meter mark. But now they need some one to help them and the someone was Wilfred Tunning. He just found the space between the legs of the goalkeeper of FIF. 7-5, two goals different. It is again. Oh, nice. Now it worked out for the right wing. Lasse Sørensen opened the angle with the, from a good jump and scored eighth goal for his team. What a response! Number 38, Silas Agar Pape, his first goal of the game. It kept HIK in the contact. Again, the players from FIF don't need much to create a shooting space, but this time they missed their opportunity and Laus Hürt is just quick and strong and if you want to stop him then you just probably need to follow him because he is really really he's got some dynamics and athletics in his game so here comes Wilfred Tanning the best scorer of HIK so far one goal difference, eight to seven. When we are entering the last minute of first half, which has been controlled by FIF. But now the white team is approaching and they found their confidence in their game. They have the playmakers and they step up the moment. Dosan, and it will be again for the right wing, but save by Anders Schulz Jensen. Important one in the dying seconds of first half. HIK now has just 10 seconds to make something happen, and they almost have. The referees are returning the players to the right spots. And Julius Rasmussen will make the last shot of first half. Or will it be someone else? Christian Koch, the left-handed player. Try to find a way, but step over the line so it wouldn't have count anyway. 8-7, interesting game, interesting storyline. And we're looking forward for the second half of this Danish finals affair. We'll be back soon. Thank you. 
So the second half begins and HIK can even up the score because they have the first attack of the second half. It was again Frederik Hedergaard who made some chaos in the FIF defense but then caused an uh, offensive foul but HIK KFUM are back in the business <laughs> so I guess Frederick had a guard had a little luck after the save but he chose the right place in the right time and scored the goal number eight and we are even for the first time since start of the game but here's Fabian Dow I think we we have seen some brilliant flashes from the left backs, left backs on both sides. Some of the shots are just really top notch. Traveling violation from HIK. Blue team was able to create lots of space for the right wing in the first half. Looks like this strategy has worked out fine. And this is going to be a seven meter throw. After the foul on Einar Nicholson. Matsverk 
Make goal number 10. So uh, Blues are up by two again. After a better start of the first of the second half. Uh oh, that looks like another turnover. Sometimes the HIK players are too quick to execute well what they're willing to do. Oh, another nice shot from FIF and they're up by three, 11, eight. Just right now, they're executing better. On point, on time, than their opponents. And that's what got them into the lead. Fine save by Matthias Buck. Again, you see that. Really quick decision by Laus Duhert. No hesitations. No regrets. They just go for it. That's in their nature. Einar Nicholson with a shot from the left back, but Anders Schulz Jensen was ready and prepared. Oh, that's what we like about handball. Quick, strong strike from the back. This time by Wilfred Tanning. What I really enjoy about this game, it's no, no game of chess. No tactical hesitations after a goal. There's an effort for a quick response. Every single opportunity that offers itself, the players want to use it. Matfer again from the seven meters. And again, successful. 12 to nine. Less than 10 minutes to go, three goals difference. I know no reason to panic for HIK. Good defense by FIF. And this is going to be fast break. Score by Rasmus Quist. It was just too quick. And went coast to coast for goal number 13. And as well as on the beginning of the game, F5 handball, I have the four goal lead. Wow! But HIK don't want to give up. That was a beautiful shot from the right back. But here comes another response. But Laus Hort was too strong in the move and made offensive foul. Oh. Here is Frederick Hedegaard. And here comes after the goal another punishment for Fabian Dao and it is two minute penalty so the momentum might have swung back for HIK
here's come he comes the combination for the line and a uh, goal by Jonas Vairup. So uh, really quick goal at the beginning of the power play for FIF. Wow, that was brilliant save. And a huge chance as well. And Matthias Bakbak -Bak now became an important figure for FIF. Bayrup saved the ball. Tries to surprise the goalkeeper. But the shot was deflected by the defense. So still the FIF players have the ball. But not for too long. There was nobody to pass the ball to by Frederick Hedegaard. He jumped into the air and then looked around and there was nobody around him or near him. So there was another turnover. Great shot, but even a better save right now. Really important one by Ander Schultz Jensen. Still, the HIK players are in the game. Still, they have more than five minutes to even up the score. And now the timeout by Alan Sund, coach of a white team HIK. That was a really nice team play by the HIK players. And the result is goal number 12. And then the margin is just two goals with five minutes to go. Oh, wow, this is a promising ending of this final. It's all a Danish final. Two. And another, here comes Ander Schultz Jensen. He touched the ball, so wasn't beaten by the left wing. And HIK are all in. 
They play with an empty net without a goalkeeper. With two line players. They're all in, all or nothing. And I like this kind of approach. Right now it didn't work out, but they were saved by Erasmus Quist, who deflected the ball to his goalkeeper. This can be one of the key offensive plays of this final. FIF defense stays really strong, holds strong. Because if HIK scores from this one, everything can be different in the final minutes. But Max, Matthias Bakbak with the foot save. Three minutes to go. If I have started with one, two, three defense, now they are holding their 06. And HIK just has nowhere to go. They need some strong hammer from the back. And they need it quickly. It wasn't the best choice they've made in this game and Matthias Bakbak was ready. There was a lot of contact on the line and more of it from FIF, offensive foul. So the score hasn't changed. Whoa, Matthias Bakbak stares down the, the shooter because he knows he just made a key save. Now F5 players don't need to rush it, but they found a free player on the line. Mats breaks three goal leads. With just one minute to go, and this can be the dagger. And it is. Aina Nicholson stole the ball and scored goal number 16. And now I guess the HIK hopes are over. They had their chances to make it a one goal game, to make it a more dramatic finish. But. The goalkeeper Matthias Bagbak was against it and then FIF players made a two key plays that decided the outcome of this final. Running Wilfred, the best scorer for HIK in this final game, made a seven meter throw. But this, whoa, and a nice ending. An exhibitional one, I would say. And this all Danish affair has a winner named FIF Handbolt. They have won 17 to 13 and showed a really great effort. Some of their shots were amazing. They had a great defensive strategy, defensive plan. 
and they were just mentally stronger in the key moments of this game. So this is a victory for FIF. And HIK was just a little just a little off in the key moments and those details always decide in the big games. But a hell of a final, I would say. Two more games to come in the oldest categories and we'll be back in a few minutes. Stay with us, Prague Handball Cup 2019.